What's going on everybody? This is Brian from SneakerFiles.com and today we present to you the July 2017 Air Jordan release dates. Now, like always, dates could be pushed forward, pushed back, even new ones added in. So in the case that does happen, there will be a link in the description below pointing you to SneakerFiles.com, specifically this page which will be updated. As well, there will be a link in the description below to our overall Air Jordan release dates page which has dates from now all the way throughout the year. But Let's jump into it, see what we got coming out, all that writing. So this pair, the Jordan Spizike Blacksmith, it was expected to drop last month, but it didn't happen, and they're going to drop sometime in July. We don't have a date or a time or nothing like that, not a time, but a date, and retail will be 175 This pair, I'm not sure. It might be somewhat limited. Uh, the white and cement pair did drop on Nike.com around the 21st of June, and it looks like it was selling, but I have yet to see it in person, so I don't know what's the deal with that. So these will probably just drop some random time. So the next up we have, actually, there will be three colorways. So the first one is, well, it's the Jordan Trainer 2 Flyknit, and this pair comes in black and ice. And the Jordan Trainer 2 Flyknit is the brand's newest training shoe, and it features Flyknit. Now, I'm not 100% positive on this, but I do believe this is the first model to feature Flyknit. We've had Fly Weave, which is like a variation of it, but I'm not 100% positive on that. I just believe. But retail will be 140 All three colorways will sit, but this is the black and ice pair. That's what's being called. Next up is the Chicago. The Chicago is probably the nicest of the three um, for obvious reasons. 140 as well, all July 1st. And the last but not least is Hyper Jade. Um, not bad. I mean, personally, I will probably pick a pair up just to like train in and you know, work out and stuff like that, but I'm going to wait till they hit outlets because I don't see these actually selling out anytime soon. All right, so here we got the Air Jordan 5 Red Suede, aka Flight Suit. I hate that Flight Suit nickname. July 1st is the date, which is tomorrow. Retail is 190 This is a massive GR. They are not going to sell out, and I honestly believe that they're going to go on sale. But that's just me. Don't wait. If you really like them, pick them up. Make sure you do everything you got to do. But at the same time, I can 100% say they're not going to sell out first day. Not to say they're not a dope shoe, though. All right, so next we have the Air Jordan 1 Retro High OG K54. Now, this celebrates the K54 tournament that takes place in Paris. It's a street ball tournament. And they're going to drop July 8th, 460. Now, we do know they're going to drop overseas. We don't know if they're going to be available in the States as of yet. But more than likely, it will happen. I do have a little bit more information on the Air Jordan 31, which will be up next, that may reflect the Air Jordan 1. So let's move it along. And this is the Air Jordan 31 K54. And both pairs come in a mismatch theme. So we have, like, Italy blue as well as university red accents and like the K54 branding throughout. So this pair is releasing overseas actually on July 1st, but they're dropping in the States on July 8th. And what I've been told and what I've read is that this is going to be a limited drop in the States. So don't expect a massive run or anything like that. So if they're doing that for the Air Jordan 31, I believe they're going to do it for the Air Jordan 1. I mean, it makes sense. But retail price for the 31 is 160 and if I forgot to mention, the Air Jordan 1 will cost you 160 Alright, so this is <laughs> the Air Jordan 6 Low GS Mint Foam. And they come in anthracite, mint foam, and metallic gold. So, this shoe is absolutely ugly to me. But, I mean, maybe some people do like it. But on the positive side, I do like the hit of metallic gold that lands on lace lock. But they feature anthracite across the uppers and a little bit of mint foam. And expect these to go on sale um, probably sooner rather than later. I don't see a lot of people actually liking these. But hey, if you like them, then that's cool. Now here's another pair I really believe is going to go on sale. The Air Jordan 5 Pinnacle Triple Black. Usually Pinnacle releases are on the limited side. But I believe it was one of the previous drops of the 5s. They went on sale. And a lot of people do not have $400 to buy these. That's a lot of money. And these drop on July 8th, as well as the Air Jordan 6 Low GS Mint Foam. Those are July 8th. So the 8th is not looking like a good date for pickups. But um, I will say they do look nice as far as 
the quality. Um, it looks like premium, you know, use quality. But both pairs feature like this rib texture. Like all right here, we have it on the panels, and it'll be across the tongue. But then up top here, we got it like on the panels as well. So um, it's not as thick, and obviously it runs in a different direction on each. But both are oh, no big pass for me. All right, so the Air Jordan Two Deacon. Three colorways are dropping. First up is the Thunder Blue, and they dropped July 15th for 160 I like the Air Jordan 2, but this pair, what it is, is basically a slimmed down version of the Air Jordan 2. And instead of using leather, they use suede. Now, it's hard to say if the suede is good or not. Um, obviously, I would like to reserve opinions like until I get them in hand. And I'm not even sure if I'll have these in hand because the last um, the Air Jordan 1 Deacon... I wasn't able to get them. It was somewhat like of a, I don't know what the deal was with that. But the Thunder Blue pair is a definite pass for me. All three will be a pass for me, but um, we'll go through them all. So here is the cell, and the feature cell in B.O. Beige, I believe that's how you say it. July 15th is the date on this pair, 160 as well. Um, a lot of people were calling these the Poor Man Don C and... I don't like the poor man's nickname of things. I think it's actually really dumb. But if you want to call him that, you can call him that. I won't be ever calling a shoe a poor man's version unless I'm referring to what other people are calling it. So, And last but not least, and probably the best of the three, in my opinion, is the triple black pair. They are also dropping on July 15th for 160 Expect all three to hit outlets. I believe this is a general release. I don't have enough details as of yet to confirm that, but I'm pretty positive that they will hit outlets. But the Triple Black Pair, is, in my opinion, is the best of the three. So Jordan Brand is going to continue their mint foam drops. And next we have the Air Jordan 13 GS, which is dropping July 22nd for 140. They feature leather and suede, and like I said in the news video, the leather, it's not that great. It doesn't look that great. I don't want to say 100% sure because like I previously said, I like to wait till I get them in hand. And more than likely, I will have this pair later in the month. But they do feature iridescent where the hologram would be. So little bits of changes. Black up top and then we have mint foam which covers the liner and the outsole and probably a few other locations. But we do have a little bit of metallic gold so it fits in with the Air Jordan 6 and that lands on the Jumpman branding located on the tongue. So this month, probably only two hyped releases, the first one being the Air Jordan 5, and the next would be the Air Jordan 13 History of Flight. They feature a full leather takeover, and why this shoe is, I guess you could say, iconic for most, is that back, I'm not sure the exact year, but I want to say around 2010 in that time frame, but Jordan Brand had a full collection, what was called History of Flight, and it was on display, and the 13 was one of them, and it comes, I believe there's two actually variations of the History of Flight, the sample, but the retail pair will come in the more known colorway, because there was a first one that was on display, and then there was a sample edition that never, like, there was only, like, only a few pairs, but July 22nd is the date, and retail is 190 I... You know, it's it's still too early to tell. I don't think these are going to sell out first day. I don't think anything this month dropping uh, that's confirmed so far is selling out first day. I It's hard to really say if they're going to sell out um, or sell out before hitting outlets. I would have to wait until I kind of get an idea of the how limited or if they're a general release, which I do believe there'll be a general release, but... Uh, to what extent also they come with black laces I think it looks ugly with black laces I think you should throw in some white ones or some red ones that's just my opinion though you can do what you want if you pick them up all right so this is probably one of the better Air Jordan 31 lows to release and this is known as triple black but it's not your traditional triple black you got some metallic gold which wraps the hill that's located on the midsole. We also have some tumbled leather that's across the hill as well and kind of on the panels and, of course, your flyweave. And I believe metallic gold lands on lace tips. July 28th is the date. Retail will be 160 And I like these, but be patient. They will hit outlets. Last but not least for the month is the Air Jordan 11 Low IE Midnight Navy. 
So this is a brand new colorway being put on the Air Jordan 11 Low IE. A lot of people are not fans of this model. I'm a fan of the model. I like it a lot. I'm just not a fan of this particular colorway. I do like the, what do they call it, the Michael Jordan PE or the Fire Red pair. That one is really nice. But July 29th is the date. Resell is $170. Um, again, if they're limited, they'll probably sell out within a few days. Um, I don't, even if being limited, I don't think this is going to sell out for its day. But if they're general release, which I expect them to be, then yeah, you can wait a while and grab these at outlets and save some money. All right, everybody, so that wraps it up. That is all the confirmed July 2017 Air Jordan releases so far. But like I mentioned, links in the description below pointing you over to this page, which will be updated if more get added in or pushed around, and a link to our Air Jordan release dates page, which has dates from now throughout the year. Now, there's a few releases I did not mention just because it isn't known yet. So the first would be the Air Jordan 1 Retro High OG I believe one is coming in sale, and the other one is done in triple black, and I believe that is also a part of the Premium Essentials collection. So that pair, or both those colorways, did drop overseas. Now, they were expected to drop on June 20th, I believe, but for some reason, they have yet to show up at stateside retailers. Now, it's possible they do drop in July. It's just not known as of yet or any type of indication that it may happen. Next up is the Off-White Air Jordan 1 and Air Jordan 3. We have yet to see the Air Jordan 3. We've seen plenty of images of the Air Jordan 1. Now, it's possible they do drop in July. We just don't know as of yet. And there's, like I said previously for the Air Jordan 1, there's no indication that that will take place. So I didn't include it here, but I did want to make note that it's a possibility. Now, from this video, what I like and what I plan on picking up, um, the Air Jordan 5 Red Suede, I'm going to eventually pick those up. I was planning on grabbing them tomorrow, but you know, with all these Jordans going on sale, there's really no point. I'll just wait it out and get it at a cheaper price or try to uh, buy them on swoosh.com. The next pair would be the Air Jordan 13 History of Flight. I think that pair is really dope. I do plan on picking it up as well. I'm just in the air if I'm going to pick them up first day or wait until they go on sale because I don't really know the availability as of yet. Last but not least is the Air Jordan 1 K54. Now, I'm not sure if I'm going to pick them up. I am a fan of the Air Jordan 1, a big fan of them, but I don't know. It's just, I kind of like them, but at the same time, it's like, eh, it's not that great. I've seen a lot better what K54 has done with Jordan brand. The Air Jordan 2, in my opinion, was executed way better than the Air Jordan 1, but that's just my opinion. Like always, leave your comments below and let me know if there's anything from this month you plan on picking up or passing. As well, if you got a second, hit this video with a thumbs up. Greatly appreciate it. Thanks for watching. Stay tuned to sneakerfiles.com. And if you haven't yet, make sure to subscribe.